All right, guys, so now that we've done our hatching, we're going to quickly go through our cross hatching. Now, our cross hatching is our lines going diagonal, it's going horizontal, making sure they are still very, very straight and vertical. But that's not how much it limits you. You can go any direction. And remember, the frequency of lines, the darker your tone, the space you have in between, the greater the space, the lighter your tones are going to be. So I'm going to start off in one direction. And I'm not going to do one box at a time, but rather spread my layer all the way across. And there you go. So I'm going to finish that off, just making sure there's enough lines, kind of making sure it's connected nicely together there as well. Make sure not to go outside the boxes, so just, just practice um, and make sure that you kind of have that neatness and your lines are really straight. Make sure that if you need to turn your pages around, just so it gives you a better angle your pen, um, that's fine as well. I'm going to do the opposite direction with my diagonal. And I'm keeping my lines really, really long because it helps me. And I'm making sure that my hand is planted, my hand is firmly planted on my page, but rather the strokes I'm moving is like pivoting with my wrist. So I'm going to go ahead with that. And now I'm going to try this vertically, closer together, and I'm going to spread that out. I'm going to stop there. Now I'm going to go ahead, turn my page around a little bit, because now I'm going to go horizontal. Now I'm going to make sure I go really, really close in this one section, but you don't have to do this one square at a time. Feel free to take that all the way across, or if you want, just do one little section, because then you can count how many lines you've got going as well. So I'm going to have a little line in between there, just add a little bit more, and now I'm just going to start building that on. So I'm going to go back into diagonal, helps me to keep track of um, how many angles I've got going as well. I'm going to go diagonal, and I'm going to go other way as well fill any gaps up I want less gaps as much as possible with my darker section here and I'm going to spread that along now because I'm going from up down up down you can notice there's a bit of gap here that's fine so all I'm going to do for that I'm going to just turn my page and I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom just so there's some there's some color there and it looks neat there's no too many white spaces at the bottom there now I'm looking at it here, there's some gaps here and there's gaps on the top. So even in this dark section, there's a little bit of a gap. So I'm gonna go in, fill as many lines as I can with my lines going horizontal because it gives me a better angle as well. And I'm just gonna increase those lines and take it further. And there you go. And the more lines you do add, you remember the frequency of lines, the closer together, they are going to get dark. So I'm going to blend this one with this tone here. I'm just going to add more lines. Just get it to transition, not all the way, just here in this little area so it gets dark. And it goes to medium dark, and then medium, and then medium light, light, and then you've got your white. So that's pretty good. Happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the same skill over here, this little section for my stair. So I'm brighten that up. Hopefully you can see it nice and clearly. Do, do, do. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with hatching. Start off in one direction. I'm going to keep it nicely spaced out, and then I'm going to do the same thing. Go diagonal, but this time I'm not going to keep adding my lines here. I'm going to break it up a bit. Why? Because I want to work with the curvature of my sphere. So as I do that, I've got this nice shape going, and then all I'm going to know. Now start to add more of those cross hatching. So I'm happy with that. I'm taking it very, very slowly. And remember, you can always start light and add more tones, make it darker. But once pen is on the paper, you can't exactly remove it. So make sure that you build it slowly. There's no harm in making something darker. It's easy to do that. But once you've gone in, it's really hard to make it lighter. So be careful of that. So I'm going to go ahead and do my diagonals again. And I'm going to focus mostly just the edge here. Why? Because it's mostly dark. I don't see any gaps there. So I'm going to go ahead, change the direction, and go ahead and fill as much gaps, especially with the corners or the edges. I want to make sure there's no room for any gaps to kind of seep through and then all i'm going to do is add some wispy lines 
just to kind of connect all that together. Okay, so I've got a nice little sphere there. You've got dark, you've got dark medium with some light tones and it's going into white. If you want to, you can add a little bit more lines as well, just to kind of build that in. 